What's up everyone, it's the Lego Guy 6100 here with a look at the Boomerang Funko Pop from Suicide Squad, the new movie. It's actually Captain Boomerang, but in this movie I guess he's just known as Boomerang. You guys know how these Suicide Squad Pops go, you know, you just have the ad for Legion of Collectors, I'm gonna set that aside. Here's the actual figure itself, looks like we've got some standing problems already. Alright, so this figure looks really cool, and I'm super glad we finally got a Captain Boomerang Funko Pop. I know it just says Boomerang on the box, but I read comics, I just know him as Captain Boomerang, so that's what I'm going to call him throughout this review. Um, but anyway, you guys know what we always do with these figures, I don't even have to say it, we're just going to jump right into the torso here. This just looks awesome. One thing I've loved about these Suicide Squad Pops has been the lettering and the printing with like tattoos and everything, but he doesn't have any tattoos to speak of on this figure. Not that I see any yet. So um, I really love on his jacket that it says Captain. So you know, it makes sense for them to just call him Boomerang um, when he has Captain on his jacket. But going in, it just looks really awesome. I love the uh, gold chain right there near his neck, like the necklace there. I like the detail on the jacket, like the uh, light blue there. I think that looks great. Oh, I like this here on the back. We've got some stars and it looks like some pouches on the side for his boomerangs. Really nice there. I'm really liking this jacket. Um, for any of you who are wondering, it got me at first. I thought this was bad paint. Like I thought paint bled over from the boomerang. It's actually like that on the box right here. It, um, just knocked the figure over. He has some um, silver detail on the actual glove. So no, that is not a um, painting mistake. But anyway, moving right down to the legs here, we can see uh, uh, there's some nice silver paintwork going on. And um, there's some nice sculpting right here on the pants. These, looks like, these look like some form of joggers. And uh, yeah, I just like the um, feet here. So the pants and everything look good. The the hook on his pants, um, those look great. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move up right here to the head because I, I actually like this head. Now at first I didn't like it because I didn't like that he didn't have his little Captain Cold hat. But the hair, the hair still looks great. And you know, it's a different take on Suicide Squad. So anyway, right here, I love the bruise on his face. I think that's awesome painting. And I think the cuts on his face look really good. I would imagine he got that bruise from like Deadshot because you know, they fight a lot, but um, this just looks a lot like the actor because I've seen him. I've seen what the actual actor looks like. Really love the sculpted hair. I think it looks very nice. I think if, you were not going to give him his hat, I think he should have a nice head of hair, which he does. This looks like the actor, so um, I'm really happy with how this pop turned out. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, I wanted to thank Chinese Five Spice for giving me a shout out on his channel. That was really nice of him, and I'm getting some support on the channel just because of his videos, so thank you to um, you Chinese Five Spice, and thank you to all my viewers. Uh, bye guys, and thanks for watching.